Sa video na to, let's try to solve this example. Meron daw tayong swimming pool which is rectangular in shape na merong length na 12 meters and width of 5.5 meters. And so ito yung top view ng swimming pool natin. This is 12 meters and this is 5.5 meters. And then this statement will give us an idea kung ano yung cross section ng pool natin. Na yung pool daw has a sloping bottom and is 1 meter deep on one end and 3.6 meter deep on the other end. And so ganito yan, this will be 1 meter and it will slope patungo dito. Now this distance is 3.6 meters. Now the water from a full cylindrical reservoir 4 meters in diameter and 10 meters deep is emptied into the pool. And so, meron tayong cylinder na tank. Now, yung diameter nito is 4 meters. And then, yung height is 10 meters. Now, this contains water. And then, this water is to be poured dito. And since we are trying to find the depth of the water at the deep end, let's first solve for this volume. Ito. So that we will be able to identify if yung water is nandito sa portion na to or lalagpas dito. So, let's compute for this volume. That will be the cross-sectional area. 1 half times base na 5.5 meters times height na 3.6 minus 1 which is 2.6 multiplied by the length which is 12 meters. Now this is equal to 85.8. Now let's also compute for the volume of water. Again, this is the volume of the triangle. Now the volume of water will be equal to the cross-sectional area multiplied by the height. Now the cross-sectional area using the diameter is pi d squared over 4. So that will be pi times 4 squared over 4 multiplied by the height which is 10 meters and that will be 40 pi which is approximately 125.66. Now notice that the volume of water exceeds the volume of the triangle and so essentially if we will pour this volume of water dito, yung water will exceed this line. And so the water level will be somewhere dito. Now let's label this as x. And then let's compute for this volume. Let's equate that to the volume of water so that we will be able to know kung ano yung depth dito. Now again, itong 3.6 meters, ito yung whole height. And then ito, this is 2.6 meters. And this will also be equal to x. And so now, let's equate the volume of this trapezoid to this volume. Yung volume ng trapezoid will be equal to the cross-sectional area multiplied by the length. Yung area ng trapezoid is a plus b over 2 times h. Now, ito yung a natin. And then, ito yung b. x plus 2.6. Itong distance na to. Divided by 2. And then, let's multiply this by 5.5. Now, this is the cross-sectional area. Let's multiply that by the length na 12 meters. Itong distance na to. And let's equate that to the volume of water. And so, now, we can solve for x. And so, our x will be... 0.604 Now yung problem is to find the depth of water at the deep end. So we are essentially looking for this depth. Now that's 2.6 plus x. And so yung depth of water at the deep end will be 2.6 plus x. And then yung x natin is itong value na to. And so yung depth ng water dito is 3.204 meters. This will be our answer.